I'm Nicole and this is my VIC-20. The VIC-20, in case you are not familiar with it, is a computer that was released by Commodore before the Commodore 64. Um, if you're interested in learning more about it, there are videos on YouTube or you can go to a site like Denial and get more information on the VIC-20. What I'm going to do today is take my VIC-20, which up to this point, I've only used with composite output, and I'm going to install this mod. What this mod in this envelope will do is give me the ability to use S-Video with my VIC-20. And it's supposedly a plug-and-play solution. All that I need to do is open up my VIC-20, take out a chip that is socketed, um, and I did already check because apparently there are some VIC-20s that don't have this um, chip socketed. It's actually soldered to the board. Mine is socketed. I checked ahead of time. So I'm going to pop out that chip, put in the new one, and look and see what the S-Video output is like. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my VIC-20, hook it up to the TV via composite, and show you what the output of that is like. Then I'm going to show the installation process and then I'll show you what this video looks like. So I will be back in just a minute to show you the composite output. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but here is the video output of my VIC-20 via composite on an LCD screen. Um, I think that gives you an idea. So it's not great. It's certainly better than when I used RF. But still, the video quality leaves a lot to be desired. Um, so let me switch this off really quickly. And I'm going to put in cartridge. So I'm doing this one handed. Oh, and these cartridges. Not easy to get in one handed. I'm going to cut. All right, and here is Omega Race. It actually looks better. <laughs> through the camera than it does on the screen. It's interesting. But yeah, this is what it looks like by a composite output. And that yellow, orange that you see at the top of the screen is just the light being reflected on the screen. Well, that actually doesn't look too bad through the the viewfinder, but it, it does look worse on screen. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you the installation process of the mod. Okay, so because I don't have like a proper workbench, we're going to be doing this work on my coffee table. So here's my VIC-20. I've removed the screws from underneath, the VIC-20 is actually very easy to get into. You only have to remove these three screws. So, now that I've done that, I can lift. All right, and let's do some unplugging. Unplug that and that. All right. So we're going to install the mod inside of here. So this needs to come off. And I, yeah, I can do that by hand, I think. There. Well, there. Okay, so that is off now. And this is the chip that we're going to replace. So give me a minute to get everything set up, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and removed this chip. So what I'm going to do is take the contents out of this envelope. And inside the envelope, I have my S-Video cable. And I have the mud itself. Now, the instructions, I'm actually looking at denial um, before I'm post while I do this. The instructions aren't in-depth, so hopefully I don't mess this up. So I'm going ahead and taking this part out. I can find where it starts. Okay. Cat, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, and this is why it's best not to do this on, well, I'd bend some pins as I undid this. So it was hanging on. Let me straighten those out. All right. I need to look at the website a little bit more just to make sure I have this going in correctly. So this should go in see the wires on that side So I believe it goes in this way. Because they show it going out. Well, his Vic 20 is a little bit different than mine. But yeah, this is how it should go in. Sorry, these are still a little bent. Let's get this inserted. Okay, so that is in. So now I'm going to put this back in. And should just slip in here. All right, that's back in place. Now this, have to be careful to feed it out like so. And then this, I need to double check. I'm not sure where this hooks up on the output. Okay, so I looked a little bit more closely, and this doesn't actually hook up to this. It hooks up to this cable that comes with the mod. So, I will plug this in, like so, and then I just need to make sure that this can come out that out like so and it hooks up to this and there we go so I'm gonna put the Vic 20 back together power this on and we'll see how it works okay so the mod is installed and this is what everything looks like right now I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hook this up to my capture device and capture some video from it, see what it looks like.